Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel and uh, today I want to share another sub story of mine <laughs> from the uh, period of time when I was a vegan student. Um, sometimes I think that uh, I have, uh, you know, like a bunch of sub stories from this time and that maybe I can write them down and do something with this further than uh, just telling them on my channel and maybe we will do that, we'll see. Um, but of course, I had uh, wonderful stories there too. Um, it just like when you were traumatized and uh, so many bad things have happened, um, your brain kind of concentrates of uh, on what what was uh, bad and what was uh, traumatized, and that's how it works. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I want my stories to be uh, heard, and I want to share them. Uh, and another one is connected to the next dance video I will share with you. The link will be down below so you can kind of understand uh, which duo again I'm talking about. And um, let's let's jump into a story. So it was, um, I believe it was the second course. Yeah, it was my last year in academy. And, uh, you know, we had uh, modern classes in... Uh, in fifth class yeah just in fifth i believe on first course we didn't have a modern anymore uh and i really loved this this style of dance and i always wanted to um explore more and uh, i definitely felt like classical ballet is not you know this feeling is not the top of what i want to learn and simply i always wanted to work in uh, europe or in the united states of america somewhere not in Russia, because in Russia they were at this point, uh, they were not much of a, you know, diverse kind of repertoire in uh, classical ballet theaters. And I always felt like I'm not a good fit, you know, uh, as a ballerina in Tutu, but there are so many different styles of ballets in Europe, etc., which I really was interested to learn. So that's how I started to you know, try to find an opportunity uh, to improve in that. And I started to go to master classes, to classes uh, separately from academy, which was uh, an uncommon thing for a Vagano student to do. Uh, usually whom I had around me, they were really interested in classical ballet, which is not surprising, right? Um, and they didn't really understand modern and even some of the teachers and the higher than teachers positions, people uh, thought of a modern like uh, this is kind of, you know, a low, low key dance. It's not a classical ballet. And I was highly disagreeing with them inside me. Of course, I didn't say anything in person uh, because I think in our days, dancers should really be diverse. And even if you are graduating from a, a classical dance academy school or wherever uh, it will be a big loss to your career and to your um, opportunities of uh, dance and theaters you will be able to work in if you are if you know how to dance something else rather than a classical ballet so yeah and simply I started to be <laughs> kind of more interested in modern as well and it's funny because in fifth class on our modern dance exam we had kind of a very weird teacher <laughs> and uh, she was uh, i don't know she she was kind of not happy with what i was doing because i was dancing really emotionally and from my heart and somehow she didn't like it so i got a very not not a high mark at the exam and uh, she said uh, really unpleasant things to me as well after she was announcing all the marks and stuff and then when i saw a video from exam and i i hope i will be able to bring uh, all these discs uh, back to the united states because they are i have these discs from all these exams uh, and they are in russia with my mom uh, that, that, that's a video that I didn't take them with us when we were immigrating. Uh, so I was uh, super emotional at this video and I liked it. I liked it. Uh, and also I was trying to feel the mood and uh, hmm, uh, I don't know why she didn't like it. Uh, but my one of my favorite teachers ever, 
uh, Vadim Anatolievich, he, he was my character dance uh, teacher, my favorite one. Uh, and he was like, oh, Masha, you were the only one whom I, uh, if, if I was uh, given the marks, I will give you a five mark like the highest, the only one who was emotional, who was trying to express through the dance moves and not just do it robotically. Uh, okay, but it's, it's, a, it's not the, the point of the story, it's just I'm saying how I got into a feeling that I really love modern dance and even this uh, uh, really sad moment uh, after this exam didn't uh, take my um, passion of learning this style away. And uh, also, this is a funny moment Then uh, later on, like in a year later or something, uh, I got a letter, an actual letter, and I was keeping it for a long time, and now I also don't know where it is anymore, uh, from this teacher, this exact teacher, uh, that she was saying that I grew up in a wonderful uh, dancer because she was on the concert. The concert I will tell you more about uh, after, and this concert is what the story is about. Uh, so she was kind of like cheering me up that I'm on the right path, and uh, I felt like a little win. This letter felt like a little win after what she did to me, and uh, after um, because I was asking her after the exam, like, what's wrong? Uh, why why the mark is like this and she said uh, you will get the disc and uh, you will see it on, on, on a DVD but if you will not understand why you can come to me and we'll discuss and w w what's the answer is that to give to your student like your student honestly asks you what was wrong with the performance on the exam and she gives this kind of answer and uh, when I saw video, I, I, all, I want you to let you know that I always was super strict to myself. I mostly hated all of the videos uh, of me doing like especially classical dance, etc. But on this video and on this exam, I pretty enjoyed watching myself. And so, yeah, it was a strange thing to say to me from her. Uh, yeah, so it felt like a little win, uh, and it felt even though she didn't say any kind of I'm sorry of what I was saying to you that time, but she wrote me a letter and passed it uh, from another, um, I, I believe it was a student of a choreograph uh, choreography, how do you call it, faculty in, 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 in academy. Okay, so this is a press story of uh, how I got into modern classes. And uh, I was really happy to um, get involved in any kind of, you know, um, academy activities, but it's not an our faculty activities. It was a choreography faculty activities. Uh, what means uh, that young choreographers who are uh, studying in academy to be choreographers to get this kind of diploma, they need dancers for their work. And where they are getting them from, they are getting them from from us, from students of, of from actual students of academy, dancer students. Uh, and usually our main teachers, classical dance teachers, were really not happy about that because they thought that you know it will take us away from our actual main work. Uh, it, it, you know we will learn something not good for our bodies, and they were always kind of afraid of an experiment of. Uh, of the end. <laughs> uh, I felt sad about this uh, because, you know, I think as more a young dancer will participate in kind of experiments and kind of learning uh, the capability of the body, of the movement, the better it's for the future, for the dancer's future. But yeah. Um, so when I got a, you know, I had a wonderful friend of mine in Academy and now he's a big solid of Novosibirsk. Uh, dance, ballet, opera, and ballet theater, uh, Nikita Ksenofontov, and he is uh, definitely one of the favorite dancers of mine till now, and uh, incredibly talented, incredibly spirited, um, and uh, definitely one of the best partners I ever had the privilege to dance with. Uh, I, I hope that maybe one day we'll, we'll be able to dance something again, but it's just just a dream. Okay, so uh, he had uh, this wonderful modern dance duo on his annual concert. I think it was a year before. 
uh, and uh, he was dancing with another partner. So this uh, choreography was created for them by an incredible, incredibly talented uh, choreographer, Olga Vasilieva, and she's a uh, you know, um, choreographer uh, now too, and makes uh, bigger, much bigger works. And she, she is, she's force. She's a force. <laughs> Um, so I was watching this duo on the um, on their concert, and it was a big win. It was something you know uh, in between the classical uh, duos, classical patios, uh, variations, and classical, classical, classical. Boom! Something completely different, and something very bright and very touching. And it's it just different, and it clicked with my soul. It clicked with. Uh, I believe audience soul as well, and I wish that there were more things like that on on each concerts, but not not now, not now. <laughs> um, okay, he was dancing this uh, num this duo with uh, another Masha, another uh, student of Vaganova, and uh, he or Olga, Olga, the choreographer, needed to um, show this uh, duo in the next year on some some separate. Uh, Kind of concert like a choreography concert or something and also composition uh, but something happened to, to Masha I, I don't remember what was that maybe it was an injury or she was away for something and so Nikita didn't have a partner and uh, oh, we were kind of we, 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 we knew each other and uh, I think he also saw that I'm very you know going to modern classes and modern kind of uh, good on in my body on my dancer's body and he asked me can I join him to to dance it uh, and I was more than happy and we had uh, two times performing it and it was not you know an academy performances no uh, first one I don't remember it was something um, related to a uh, choreographers concert or something so choreographers can show their works and um, we had only I believe one week to prepare it and we were staying late in the academy after all the classes official classes passed uh, and Olya was uh, teaching us but mostly me because Nikita knew everything uh, but you know even if um, you were learning it uh, as, as your part uh, partner part you need a time to you know connect to each other because you obviously dance it together uh yeah and uh, we danced it for the first time but the big win for me was the second time we danced it and this is on video i will post together with this one so you can watch it unfortunately the quality is not good but that's what i have um yeah and the second one was a competition Again, a competition, a choreographer's competition, but I, I didn't, you know, uh, there were some competitions in Academy when Academy was sending students away, like ballet competitions, etc. And I was never on the list for, for those. Um, and uh, I didn't even care if, uh, if there is a competition for choreographer or for dancer. I just wanted to dance. I just wanted to be on stage. I wanted to perform and uh, I got every opportunity as a big opportunity and as a, an opportunity for happiness for myself. So yeah, it was this, not a big competition, um, almost on the same street as, uh, as uh, Academy, um, close by. And uh, we, were rehearsing it in a, you know uh, separate from all the academy classes time in the evenings uh, so I didn't miss anything and uh, it was already uh, Tiskaridze uh, after all tonight uh, in academy it were really sad and not happy times for me he didn't like me from like almost the beginning um, and uh, yeah <laughs> Uh, so we perform, performed uh, this dance I'm sharing down below uh, and I was on top, you know, on, on, it was a feeling of being on top of the world because I was satisf satisfied with our dance and we also, not we as dancers, but we as a, you know, team, all as a choreographer won a Grand Prix this evening with this dance we, we, we did on stage. Um, and I was very happy. I felt alive. I felt, you know, this progress of you as a dancer and I was so motivated to go for the next um, day 
uh, to classes, to classical dance classes, even though uh, it was a very already bad time with my classical teacher. And uh, uh, most of the times I was scared and uh, I didn't want to go to class because I knew that there will be again, you know, uh, bad words said, uh, kind of some manipulative things said and uh, abusive things said uh, to me and uh, to a few other students as well. Um, yeah, and uh, but but it, this was my shield, the happiness on stage. This was my shield because I knew that this is what I'm working for, and if I need to like suffer uh, for it, uh, I have only less than one year left already, and I decided that there is no uh, no doubt that I will not uh, continue for a third course for you know a higher level education in academy. No, I. I was happy with my just this simple finishing second course uh, diploma. Uh, yeah, it's like kind of an equivalent of a high school. Mm, yeah, I think it's 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 like that. Uh, we we danced it. I came to the next uh, day uh, for the you know warm up before before our, uh, classical dance class, our each day uh, regular uh, class. And I'm reminding you that I didn't miss anything for this competition. And uh, so Setnikova, she came to the class and she didn't let me start the class with, together with all the girls. And she uh, said that uh, Tuskaridze asking you in his office and uh, you will not participate in the class uh, before you are coming to his office. Uh, you know, my heart kind of drops because... Uh, it just I knew that nothing good will happen of course and uh, that it's probably because of the competition I participated yesterday of course I I didn't ask the permission because I just knew and felt that uh, he will not let me because he didn't like me and I honestly don't understand how um, uh, teachers can uh, teachers and directors can not you know support uh, the desire of students uh, to dance, to to perform, and uh, if of course they also don't miss, uh, they 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 are not missing anything from the huge schedule on each day. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know what to be against about in this, and especially if I'm thinking logically here. Uh, you don't like a student, right? You're kind of uh, really rude to him, her, etc. Why do you even care uh, if they do something separately? Uh, and But they are each day at the academy from morning till evening, don't miss anything. So, yeah, I uh, came to um, the office and, you know, the office, it has a secretary part and then um, a little bit more deeper it's uh, actual office of uh, uh, Skaridze and uh, I didn't like his secretary at all she it's my opinion that she's a very bad woman and also she kind of whom he didn't like she was also ready to be rude and to make uh, the life of the students worse and uh, it's you know they kind of I think behave themselves like not adults uh, for me, um, yeah, I came to, and he was not there yet, and uh, I because I was said uh, by my by my teacher uh, that I'm not able to come to class until I will talk with him because he asked for me to come to his office, uh, and I asked of course Olga uh, the secretary like uh, when it, when can I expect him to to be back here in his office and and she I remember she almost like even didn't look at me and uh, she she said something like I don't know and uh, yeah the whole the whole vibe was so unpleasant and cold and um, I was just staying waiting for him outside and then he came and uh, it was very short and simple and he asked like uh, did you participate yesterday in this competition uh, and I said yes and uh, he asked, why didn't you ask me? Uh, I don't even remember what I answered to this because probably I was scared to death. Uh, and uh, he, but I remember what 
he answered to me and he answered like oh okay so uh, we'll see will you be dancing again anymore um something like that and he kind of you know in in term of dancing when uh they're saying this in academy it doesn't mean that you will not dance dance at all i was participating in a, you know in a corp de ballet parts in snowflakes until my injury in in crackers and also i was a uh, acting part of a grandmother in the first act in the cracker um but nothing else and in like will you be dancing again it meant uh solo dances some some you know like main kind of uh, performances and uh, he made his work i wasn't uh, till the end of a uh, till the end of my year in in academy but then it was a huge injury um and i will make a video about injuries too uh because i had quite a lot of them in in, in my life uh and uh, i was happy actually even though it was a pretty horrible injury it was after a kind of a lift a twisted you know um throw in the air uh, which we were learning in duet class and uh, yeah so i fell from it uh and i broke my hip bone but not completely or like separate piece of bone left out no my bone was like that and uh it's uh kind of you know was torn apart but it was a hell of a pain uh yeah it's it's another story and how oh, my teacher didn't believe me that i had a pain because uh the uh, doctors mistakenly didn't uh, made an x-ray till the place when i had this kind of thing in my bone and uh, they thought that everything is fine and i'm just you know lazy and not doing my work etc but it's another story <laughs> i can talk a lot um, and I'm glad to, you know, kind of push them out of me uh, this way. I think it felt good. Uh, yeah, uh, so, yeah, he said this to me. And uh, again, in terms of dancing, before I was dancing, you know, a doll in a cracker, um, but a try as a, as a, as a child, uh, Louisa's sister. Um, also, I was doing tripak, it's a Russian dance uh, in the third act, kind of like a small but solo part. And of course, I was participating in uh, annual concerts, uh, but no, no, not, not uh, anymore. And it felt, and everything from this point just uh, was going down and down and down for me. Um, and it's it's funny because there were a lot of us who was uh, not a lot of but a few students of academy who was participating in this uh, competition but only i was punished uh i don't know did they ask a permission for this competition or not but i definitely uh, felt like it, it, it's it's a personal thing it's and even if i was uh, i'm not sure if i was asking will they let me or not and if they will would have not let me i would do it anyway anyway and i thought that it's uh, uh it's worse than to not ask not miss a one thing in the academy and just do this competition or one evening uh yeah so um i came back to to the class where i had a classical dance class uh and i was in tears of course, I didn't have a motivation anymore. I didn't have any desire to do anything, but you need to do a, a hard class. And I was always staying on the, you know, side uh, bar, never on the center. Uh, I think just maybe once in my years in academy. Um, I mean, not not for the training purposes, but for um, like exams, etc. For the training, we usually there was a process of, you know switching places so everyone can look at themselves in the mirror and then be on the sidebar but yeah a lot of times i was on the sidebar um yeah center bar is kind of like the best students and everything um yeah i think we could yeah so i came to the to the class and uh i was uh, you know <laughs> I was crying and they, it, it's hard to do a classical dance class uh, when you're crying and you are feeling like everything is 
falling apart and uh, uh, the teacher was very ignorant and she kind of felt uh, it felt like she is you know uh, together in this with with him and uh, um I don't even remember was it at this day the disgusting episode of mine with her but uh, yeah I don't remember or was it on separate day um, I maybe will tell about it too in the, in the next videos so this is a story uh, this was a prize of uh, dancing this duo I'm sharing down below but I'm acting proud <laughs> of this dance and this uh, one of my favorite performances ever um, yeah I, I don't have the whole there is like the end part of it and the beginning but the beginning was filmed poorly and the end uh, somehow was cut too um yeah that's what i have thank you for listening if you're still here and uh, the moral <laughs> of uh, maybe this uh, if you're a dancer don't be afraid to uh, learn to explore uh, know that classical dance is not the you know the end of the world and if even if you're a classical dancer um, it, it will be better if you will be able to dance something else and if you will be a diverse kind of dancer if of course you are sticking for a career in kind of European theaters etc so and it's just you know great to uh, great to what's the word grow grow as, as a dancer uh, modern dance and other kind of dances help you to grow as a dancer even in classical dance yeah and don't be afraid if uh, someone doesn't like you and uh, does bad things to you it also simply can 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 lead to that you're kind of a uh, not better than them but uh, they are maybe afraid of you they are maybe uh, you know don't want you to improve and uh, you need to improve for yourself not for them okay thank you very much for watching and uh, see you soon